My name is Mike Capucci. I'm here today um, with this basic remote controller from Mitsubishi Electric. This is for the MSZ models, GL15s. This can be used in multi-zone units. It can be used in single zone units. But I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about some of the advanced features and some of the types of phone calls that we get into the office sometimes that we you know we like to help people out with before we run it go out and run a service call so one of, one of the big things that happens a lot of the times with this particular remote control is on multi-zone systems where the customer calls in and says that um, we have one unit running in the cooling mode and one unit running in the heating mode and one unit's turning off, one unit's turning on. We have green lights flashing and blinking on our indoor units. And if you have more than two indoor units in your home and one outdoor condensing unit and you're trying to do heating or cooling simultaneously, sometimes, sometimes people forget that one unit's in air conditioning mode and one unit's in cooling mode in the wintertime or vice versa in the summertime, one unit's in the um, cooling mode and one unit's in the heating mode. You can't have these units in different modes of operation. So a lot of times people have this here. We went over the modes in a previous video, but we have the, the auto mode, which is the four arrows, the cooling mode, which is the snowflake, the dry mode, which is the dehumidification mode, and then the heating mode is the sun. So if we want to do heating in the home in the wintertime, we want to make sure that all of the indoor units are turned on to the heating mode. This is a very common problem in the wintertime. Someone's, one other unit might be in the cooling mode, which you know it shows the snowflake on one of those and where it should be in the heating mode with the sun. So we ask the, the homeowner to go around, turn all the units off. You can see everything goes off on the remote turn them back on and let's put them all into the heating mode which is the sun get them all in the heating mode and then you can do what you need to do so that's one of the types of calls we get a lot that we like to walk people through so one of the other questions we get a lot is hey what is what is smart set what does this button do on my remote control well this is basically like a um, an unoccupied mode and you're going to see right now that I'm in the heating mode and I want to show you a couple of little things about smart set in the heating mode and then I'll use smart set in the cooling mode. So I'm going to, you know, you can see right now you're in a regular mode, your unit's on, you've got it in the heating mode, it's set for 85 degrees, your fan is in the auto mode and your vanes are in the swing mode. So let me show you when I press the smart button, the smart set button. Well, when I press the Smart Set button, again, we're in between these two lines. So those two, two lines emulate these two lines right here. And it shows that I'm in the Smart Set mode now. And in the heating mode, that went right to 50 degrees. So it set the temperature right down to 50 degrees and lowered the unit to 50 degrees. So this can be used if you're going away and you just want to keep your unit on 50 degrees. You can do that. However, this is adjustable too. And you're going to see this little feature here. When I press this to one, I want to use my smart set feature, but I want to turn the temperature up so it's a little bit warmer. But you can see as soon as I hit the temperature button to turn it up, it went right to 61 degrees. If I keep pressing this, it goes up 62, 63, okay, 64. It can go up as high as you want it to go. But as I turn it back down again, it goes 62, 61, oh, and back to 50. There is no temperature setting on smart mode in the heat mode above 50 degrees to 61 degrees. Now, you're going to see the smart set. Say I want to set my smart set to 62 degrees, my fan and you know everything else is in the modes where I want it. And that's where I want my smart, mode, smart set setting to be. Now I press smart set again. I'm back in my heating mode where I was prior. It's almost like a last button on your cable box. So now let's press it again and it brings me right back to my smart setting that I locked in prior. My 62 degree heating, my fan on auto, my vanes on auto in the heating mode. So that's what you use smart set for in the heating mode. Okay. Now let's go back to our regular modes. I unpress smart, smart, smart set and I go back into my heating mode. I now want to go back to the cooling mode. So now I'm going to switch this over to the cooling mode right here and I'm going to put this into the smart set mode. Okay, so 
again in cooling and not in the smart set I've got my fan on auto I've got my vane swinging back and forth and I'm set for 65 degrees in air conditioning let's say you're going out and you want to turn the temperature up but you just want to turn it up for a period of time I've just set this to smart set now I've put all my fans and vanes on auto you can see the smart set symbol came up and the temperature was raised to 85 degrees I come home I hit my smart set button smart set button and it puts me back to the temperatures in the veins and everything in the fans of where I was so that's our smart set in our cooling mode and in our heating mode okay now I want to move on to the stop and start timer with these time buttons right here again this is now we're on the we're on the right side of the vein I mean on the right side of the the line so we are on the right side. We have the three columns. We're on the right side. We're, we're going to be working in this box right here with the clock. Okay. So a lot of times we get questions of, hey, I want to be able to program this for seven days to turn on and off at night and turn on in the morning and, and do this for a long period of time. This is a 24-hour timer. It is not a seven-day timer. This only You would have to reset this every day to know what you need to do, what you want the unit to do. So let's press... The start time you can see that this is now blinking I've pressed the start and that says 6 a.m. if I wanted to adjust this up to um, let's I'm gonna go back again I'm gonna hit start again to 7 a.m. I'm gonna move this up that goes to 7 a.m. so now that you're gonna see that's gonna stop blinking in a minute and that locked in so at 7 a.m. it's going the unit is going to start up okay now let's do the stop time it's now flashing I've got this set for 11 p.m. okay we can set this down to 10 p.m. to stop and you're gonna see when that stops blinking that's gonna lock in okay and that now is going to start the unit at 7 a.m. and turn it off at 10 p.m. Okay. There's one main thing I've, I really want to bring out on this is that the clock needs to be set to the right time. A.m. and p.m. is on the clock. You cannot see the clock right now because the start and stop times have been replaced by that. To remove these start and stop times, all you have to do is press the start button. The start time went away press the stop time and the stop time goes away and now we're back to 10 20 26 a.m. and the clock is showing up again the only thing I really want to stress is the importance of this time that this clock is set to the right time you're gonna see there's an a.m. and then there's a p.m. make sure that this clock is set right because this is what's gonna drive your start and stop time this clock right here